Okay, so this is the design that I was sent. Uh, it's a compass design. And the problem was that when all of these elements are welded together, it's just one solid shape. There should be some cut out areas inside the design which aren't working. Now, if ever I'm working with something like this, a design like this where you've got solid areas and cut out areas, I always turn off the outline view so you can get a better idea of uh, how it's working together. So I'm going to go to the view menu and turn off show outlines only. And that hasn't changed the appearance. I would have expected this now to be a collection of filled shapes. So if I look over at the properties dialog, uh, let me just select it all first. Look at the properties dialog and we can see here fill is set to none. So if I change that and to color, the design is now filled. And we can see the problem. This outer narrow ring, for one thing, is actually a huge great solid circle and that's blocking up all the cutout areas. Um, and there may indeed be other things going wrong with this, but certainly that's the thing that jumps out at me straight away. I think it's going to be faster to start from scratch rather than try and dismantle this, fix the problems, and then put it all back together again. So I'm going to go to File and New Project. I'm not going to save this one. And there we go, we'll start from a blank screen. So the first thing I want to do is create that narrow outer ring. So here's my circle in the Basic Shapes menu. I'm going to click that twice because I want two circles. I've got a green and a red. Um, let's make them the size we want. I'll have the green one as the outer one and the red one about like that. You can see the red one by the way is behind the green one. Uh, that's important so keep that in mind. I'm just going to select both of those and center them horizontally and vertically. And I've made that red one a little bit too big, so I'll just make the green one slightly larger. Center them again. So there we are. So what I'm going to do now is take the red one away from the green one, which should leave a big hole where the red one was. Now remember the red one's at the back, the green one's at the front. So I want front minus back. So if I select all that and go Path Menu front minus back and there is our ring for the outside edge. I'll just move that out of the way for now. I'm going to do the same or similar thing again this time for the the ring that's just inside of that. So there's our circle. The blue is behind the purple so remember that. Let's see, that's going to do us. So we'll center both of those. So the purples at the front, so I want to be the front minus the back. So select them, path, front minus back, and there's our second ring to go inside there. And then we want a smaller one for the center. Well, I'm actually just going to copy this one and shrink it down to make a smaller version for the middle. There we go. So I'll select all three of those and center them. So they're now all perfectly lined up and I'll leave them there. So I need a diamond now from my basic shapes panel, which I'm going to turn off keep proportions so I can stretch it and then stretch it to size. So that's about right. I want four of those so I'll copy and paste them. And the first one going to go there like that. The second one is going to go here. And now I'll just make sure that they're in the center by centering everything. There we go. And then these two want to be rotated. So I'll just click the rotate button twice. And I'll put that one there. Obviously if you were doing this yourselves you would take more time to position things nicely than I am. And then this one needs to be rotated. Actually I'm just going to copy it before I do that. And then put that there. Then I need four more of these. I'll just shrink it a little bit. And then copy and paste three more of them. Rotate once. 
that one will go roughly there rotate once again and that one will go there rotate in the other direction and that one will go there and finally that one rotate in the other direction and that will go there so there's the basis of our compass construction so now I'm going to weld these together so if I click on the outer ring and then hold down the shift key and click on one of the points say this top one so they're both selected I then go to path and union and that combines them and you can see the point has changed to the same color as the ring because it's now part of the same element so I'll now do the next point I'm holding shift on the keyboard clicking on the next point and then path union again shift and click path and union I'll just go around the whole shape doing the same thing So there's our eight points in our outer ring joined together. I'm now going to select the center ring and the green part and union those. And then that part and the middle ring and union those. So now we have one single element. If I turn on show outlines only you can see that's our compass design obviously I've rushed this you can take more time but basically that's it that's how to weld together elements uh, from the shapes menu to create a design of your own I hope that was helpful bye bye